Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, your longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, we can help you there too. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Of course, if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, we want to hear from you as well, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertiser recommended on the bright side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order longevity products right off the websites. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. If you want to start a business, if you're an entrepreneur or entrepreneurially minded, if you like health, like the health business, want to help change lives at the most fundamental level there is from a physical perspective anyway, and that is through nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, click on the join the team link for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business selling longevity products, enjoying the tax benefits associated with having your own business, getting your products at the wholesale price. Hit the join the team now button at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call the Brightside Ben phone team. You can also place orders at 866-735-2470 if you want to speak to a real life human being and place your orders, or if you have questions about the products, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben team. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel. If you're dealing with acne blemishes or hyperpigmentation, dark spots, or if you just want an all-around anti-aging, wrinkle-reducing product, Retinol 5% Gel is made with retinol, vitamin C, our transdermal del delivery matrix, and that's it. No preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, oil, silicon, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in our Truth Retinol 5% Gel or in, in any of our Truth Treatment products because you shouldn't pay for fillers and you shouldn't pay for thickeners and excipients. It's not your problem. That's the manufacturer's problem. They shouldn't be charging you for their baloney. What, how could it be that 90 plus percent of a, top, of a topical skin care product is, does nothing for your skin? And we pay for that. Truthtreatments.com, if, if, if you don't want to pay for fillers and waxes and you want active ingredients and you want to create changes in your skin with a topical product, healing changes, soothing changes, anti-aging changes, anti-acne changes, skin lightening changes, health changes, Check out all our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, we're talking cortisol and cholesterol. And I must reiterate, healing principle number one, just because it's so interesting and so ironic and so misunderstood, where we think the problem is is not where the problem is. That's healing principle number one. Where we think the problem is is not where the problem is. That's true about life in general. Usually when we have a problem in our life, that's not where the problem really is. The problem is somewhere underneath in the soil. We talked to Farmer Glenn on Wednesday, and he talked about the soil as being the problem when it comes to, when it comes to what's growing out of it, which is logical and makes sense. 
You always want to return to the cause if you want to truly address a problem. This is exactly what the medical model does not do. It does not return to the cause. In life, we return to the cause when we want to solve a problem. Only the medical model, and I'm not blaming any doctors or any individuals for this. It's a model and a paradigm. Believes only the, only the medical paradigm believes that you can somehow create health by working at the level of the symptom. It doesn't work that way. You've got to go to the cause. Yesterday we talked about cholesterol as not being the cause of heart disease. Cholesterol is there, but that doesn't make it the cause. The cause of heart disease is the same as the cause of all health challenges. The duress, which is preceded by the triangle. Hypothyroidism and duress, which are preceded by digestive, by a, a blood sugar, messed up blood sugar, dysglycemia, and it doesn't matter if you're not diagnosed as a diabetic. You can be dysglycemic and not be a diabetic. That is, you can have messed up blood sugar and not be officially pronounced knighted as a diabetic. And then the digestive system. And it all happens via cortisol, cortisol or stress hormone. Cortisol, uh, cholesterol is a raw material for the production of the stress hormone, as well as for estrogen, testosterone, DHEA. If you want to destroy a culture, if you want to destroy a civilization, a really good strategy would be to suppress its ability to make cholesterol, its individual's ability to make cholesterol, or to convince individuals that that's something that they were supposed to be doing. I'm not blaming anybody here. I'm not going all conspiratorial here. I'm just saying it would be a great way to do it. You could put it in the water supply. Oh, yeah, there are doctors who actually think you should put it in the water supply. Second important point about cholesterol, and this is also key to understand, actually between the relationship between cholesterol and cortisol, second important point is the fact that when the body is producing lots of cortisol from cholesterol because you're under stress, because you got messed up blood sugar, because you got digestive problems, because you got s poor breathing techniques, or if you're just type A, or you just got a stressful life, or you bad relationship, or credit card bills or all the million, all, any of the other million ways that we produce stress in this country, in our civilization, you will be making, you, your body will be compelled to make cholesterol. It will be forced to make cholesterol. And what's worse is it will not be able to make, or it will be, it will make less of the good stuff. It'll make less estrogen. It'll make less progesterone. It'll make less of the other things that cholesterol makes. There's only a certain amount of cholesterol. Your, your body can crank out the cholesterol. That's true. But you're going to be depriving, you're going to be redirecting the chemistry into making cortisol and away from the good stuff, away from the growth and away from the repair. That means more wrinkles. That means thinning bones. That means more prone, uh, uh, more, you'll be more prone towards health challenges of all kinds as your body shifts into cortisol production. And because cortisol is a, immune suppressant, the chances are pretty good you're going to get sicker a lot. You have, your odds for cancer will increase. And all of this redirection away from estrogen and away, uh, and towards, uh, and away from progesterone and DHEA and the building stuff towards the stress hormone is especially problematic for menopausal women. The symptoms of menopause, the hot flashes, the anxiety, the depression, the uh, loss of libido, uh, all of the symptoms of, uh, of, of menopause that we just assume are natural parts of menopause are really classic signs of this redirection away from, uh, away from the good stuff into cortisol, which is why it's so important to do cortisol lowering strategies if you're a menopausal woman. In fact, it's one or perimenopausal for that matter. It is the key to having an easy menopause, a key to having an easy uh, to, to going into the change gracefully without the misery and absolute misery of your body freaking out. Interestingly, what do the doctors give you for your menopausal symptoms? They'll give you these hormones that your body should be making, but it's not making because you're making more cortisol. Relax, lighten up. It all comes back to the triangle. If you are perimenopausal or menopausal, if you're a woman and you don't want to have a miserable menopause, even if you're just perimenopausal or you're not even there yet, Lower your cortisol, reduce your blood sugar, take care of digestive health issues, all the things we talk about on this program all the time. It's simple, folks. Health is simple. It's not a fancy schmancy medical, medical situation. All right, 844 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. We are 
back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you have cortisol issues or if you're on a statin drug, I'd love to hear from you if you're on a statin drug. I'm not going to pick on you or anything. Just want to know what the logic is, in your opinion, if you're on a statin drug. Love to hear about it. Or if your doctor told you to be on a statin drug. We have the idea that these things are benign. There are no benign drugs, period. They want to make them over-the-counter now, these statin drugs. As I was saying before we went to break, there are actually physicians who believe it should be in the water supply. I wonder if the fact that they're selling the stuff for billions and billions and billions of dollars, uh, hun thousands, hundreds and thousands of tons of the stuff. Yesterday we did the math. It's ridiculous how much money they're making. Unbelievable. Mind-blowing. Oh, yeah. It's for R&D. No, it's not. The pharmaceutical business is the most profit-intensive business on the planet. The, the cost of the drugs do not go, R, for, go to R&D. I heard yesterday, or Donald Trump, I heard of the, the State of the Union. I don't, I'm going to try to stay out of politics as much as possible, but I did catch his stuff he talked about. We we're going to lower the cost of prescription drugs. Yeah, great. Who's going who's gonna to pick up the tab? They're, the drug companies are not going to cut. The, 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 they're not going to reduce the amount of money they're making. Who's going to pick up the tab? The government's going to pick up the tab. We're going to lower the cost. Make sure everybody gets their prescription drugs. How about lowering the cost on supplements? How about, provide, how about lowering the cost on quality food? 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking about cholesterol and cortisol. If you're making more cortisol from your cholesterol remember it's all tinker toys if the basic tinker toy is being shunted off to making cortisol it's going to make less of the good stuff and this is especially problematic if you are a menopausal woman if you're a perimenopausal woman or if you're a woman and presumably will be going into perimenopause and menopause it is so important to stabilize your cortisol how relaxation deep breathing there are nutrients that'll do it which we're going to cover dietary strategies eating less food Pretty much everything we talk about, stabilizing your blood sugar, pretty much everything we talk about on this program as part of health involves lowering your cortisol either directly or indirectly. And when you do that, if you're, if you're a woman and you're dealing with menopausal symptoms, they will start to go away, period. How important is that if you're a menopausal woman and dealing with hot flashes or insomnia or anxiety or depression or weight gain? Weight gain is a whole other thing. We'll talk about that here in a little bit which are all classic signs of cortisol and adrenal issues. All your signs of menopause, all, all the symptoms of menopausal distress are adrenal and cortisol issues. There's no magic here. There's no mystery here. If you understand what we've been talking about now for the last week, if your gynecologist or OBGYN or doctor, whatever kind of doctor tells you, well, you just have to deal with it. We just got to give you these hormones. He doesn't understand biochemistry. If you understand what we've been talking about here for the last week or two, you know more than he does. This is just biochem 101. It is not complicated. Lay off adrenal stressing foods. Lay off foods. <laughs> Eat less food. Calorie restriction is one of the all-time great ways to reduce cortisol and to allow that cholesterol to go redirect it into making the good stuff. Lay off the sugar. Lay off the foods that cause digestive distress. Digestive issues, IBS and ulcerative colitis, these are major causes of cortisol spikes. And if you have any of these digestive conditions, rest assured, if you're symptomatic, that it's cortisol that's the mediating force. And by the way, it's excessive exposure to cortisol. I had a doctor call me out on YouTube because I talked about cortisol, and she had a good point. She said, oh, cortisol is the hormone of life, and you need cortisol. Yes, I know. Obviously, you do. There's no bad hormone. You know, the body's making cortisol for a reason, but it's excessive exposure, chronic long-term exposure to cortisol. Chronic long-term exposure to cortisol can not only be caused by digestive problems, but it can, in turn, cause digestive problems. So you get a circle. So you get the messed up digestion, spikes your cortisol, which turns off the digestive system, which messes up the digestion worse, which turns on the cortisol, which messes up the digestion worse, which turns on the cortisol, and you get this downward spiral. The same thing happens with the blood sugar system. So not only is this a triangle of disease, it's a circle of disease. When, you have, when your cortisol spikes, your body will release sugar out of the liver because it's trying to help you. So you, your you get freaked out. 
Remember, it's, it could be a digestive condition that's freaking you out. It could be your sugar that's freaking you out. It could be, it could be your boss who's freaking you out. It could be the new world order that's freaking you out. It could be anything that's freaking you out. Your body will say, okay, there's an emergency here. Let's release sugar from the liver. Then your blood sugar goes up, and that's presumably so you can run from the tiger, imagined or real. And then your body comes to the rescue to pull the sugar out. And then you're hypoglycemic, and then more sugar has to come out, and you're hypoglycemic. And while the, the sugar is going back and forth and back and forth, cortisol staying high to get you through the back and forth and back and forth. You see, well, it could be a big mess, but it's only three points. Yes, there's all these interactions between these three points are convoluted and complicated and fascinating, I believe, and interesting. Hopefully you believe that they're interesting. But as far as health goes, that doesn't really matter. What you just got to do is address those three points. So your blood sugar is going to get whacked out. And as I said before, if you are one of those folks who's trying to do everything correctly with your, with your uh, diet and your supplements and your blood sugar still can't, you can't get your blood sugar down, rest assured it's because your body thinks it's about, it's protecting you. It's, pr it's in a survival mode. It's cortisol ridden. It's driven by cortisol. And the same thing is true about obesity. If you are overweight... This mechanism is, and you can't lose the weight, and you're exercising, and you're dieting, and you're doing all the things you think you're supposed to do. Or if you plateau, if you, if you lose 20 pounds or 30 pounds, and then you plateau, you just hold steady. You can't lose anymore. That's very common. Cortisol. Think stress. Think duress. Through blood sugar issues, and you know, it's the whole mechanism involves the blood sugar, but think duress. Calm the body down. You know, it's so interesting because calming the body down should be the most delicious thing we do. We should, we should be so thrilled that calming the body down is a health strategy because we feel better when we calm the body down. Take a hot shower. Take a hot bath. Get a massage. We don't need, we don't need cheaper drugs. We need national massage insurance where every American gets a massage. Two a month. I, now, if Donald Trump said that at the State of the Union address, I would be clapping. That, that I'd be clapping for. Not free drugs or cheaper drugs. This is so cool because what it means is you do your best healing work, you do your best menopausal symptom reducing work, you do your best anti-aging work, you do your best anti-cancer work sitting on the couch watching TV as long as you're not watching politics. All right, 844 is our number. There's also another issue called cortisol resistance. That is really fascinating. And we'll talk about that here. Uh, and I'm, I'm not going to get into it now. We've got a bunch of calls to get to, and I've got some stories I want to I want to uh, talk to you about. But we'll talk about uh, cortisol resistance and then this whole weight loss issue. And then we'll talk a little bit about a very interesting system in the body that you don't hear much about. Although it may be one of the most important keys to health and wellness. It's called your lymphatic system. And we'll do that in the coming days as we continue talking cholesterol and cortisol and the pineal gland and melatonin and DHA and all kinds of fun, interesting stuff on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844 is our number. And we'll take a quick commercial break and come back with more good health information and your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. The Best Western in Longmont, Colorado, along with Dr. Wallach and uh, Farmer Glenn and Dr. Winkler, I believe he says his last name. We'll be talking health and nutrition. Doc will go on at 6 o'clock. I'll be on at 4 o'clock. That's February 6th, Tuesday, February February 6th. If you are in the Colorado area, especially if you're in the Boulder, Colorado, or Denver, Longmont area, love to see you. Call Marianne at 303 667 1271. 303 667 1271 for more information if you haven't seen dr wallach speak he's absolutely mind-blowing he does a two and a half three hour talk it's packed with information it's funny it's interesting it can be life-changing if you're dealing with a health challenge he's been doing it for he's been doing it for uh, 40 50 <laughs> he's been doing 300 talks a year for 30 years or more and his presentation is finely honed and finely refined, to say the least. And it's very entertaining. And it's always different. And I always learn. I've been in this business for 30 years. And I always learn something from Doc when he does his talks. 
And if you haven't spe- if you have not heard him speak, I encourage you to do so. Especially if you're in the Colorado area, call Marianne at 303-667-1271 for more information. There are free there are tickets that you need to have uh, because it gets packed. Uh, they're free tickets though. So call the number at 303-667-1271 for your free ticket, and I will be on at 4 o'clock, and I'd love to see you there myself. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side from uh, the Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research headline. Does your diet contain empty calories? Well, heck yes, it does if you're eating the standard American diet. An empty calorie is a calorie that does not have, the, uh, is a macronutrient substance that is a protein or fat or carbohydrate macro meaning big nutrient substance that does not have the micronutrients it needs to help the body process it the micronutrients are the vitamins and the minerals the macronutrients are the fiber are the uh, 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 carbs fats and protein that's your three that's your two basic kinds of nutrition macro and micro big and little the macro are the calories the micro help you use the calories simple as that what doc's brilliant insight was when he was growing up really but as he got older what his brilliant insight was is that he noticed that human beings in the 20, 20th century and before even throughout his, throughout civilization, civilized history, which began about 12 or 13,000 years ago, subsisted on a diet that was made up of too much macronutrient and not enough micronutrient. And this condition began probably 12,000 years ago, but it really got really bad in the 19th century when we figured out how to process food big time with machinery and industry and food became a commodity and for the first time there was a we had the ability to produce more calories without uh without without micronutrients without non-calorie nutrients that's the that's what an empty calorie is macronutrients are calories micronutrients have no calories so an empty calorie is a calorie without the micronutrients that's why a supplement program is so important because a supplement program gives you back the micronutrients so you can use the macronutrients. It gives you back the vitamins and minerals so your body can process the proteins and the fats and the carbs. That's why you don't feel as hungry because you're getting more value from your proteins and fats and carbs. That's why you don't eat as much when you're on a micronutrient supplement program and that's why you lose weight. Your body is more efficient. It's more able to utilize the energy that's in the calories for biochemical reactions. Without it, it just has pure fire, pure explosion, which it hates, and it stashes that pure explosion away in our body fat. This is not medical. I, you know, this is just a kind of a story about how the body works. It's not science or medicine. It's just kind of common sense when you think about it. Energy in, body can't use the energy. It stashes the energy away. We call that fat because it can't use the energy. You don't have biochemistry happening. We call that sick. Re- really basic, simple as that. All right, 844 is our number. Let's hit the phones and talk to, uh, I'm not even going to try to say this, Josecina, Josecina, or is it a typo? Hi there. Hello. Hello. What's going on? Good morning. Good Thank morning. Thank you for doing what you do, Ben. Thank you. Um, what, tell, me, tell me how you say your name, ma'am. Josecina. Josecina. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you're calling you from, it. are you calling from New York City? I am. And how are you listening, on the radio or the internet? I am listening uh, via my telephone. Via your telephone. And then mm-hmm. uh, where are you in, literally in the city, Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn? No, I am in Westchester County. Oh, you're in Westchester. Queens. Yes, I Westchester. know exactly where you are. That's my old stomping grounds, kind of. I went to high school okay. in Queens. So what's going on, Jose Sina? Okay, so I have two questions, Ben, but the most important one is about my son. He's 10. And he was recently diagnosed with ADHD. Got it. And I would, and I would like you want to want some help know. with that. You want some yes, help, please. Okay. How old mm-hmm. your son? How old is your son? He's ten. He's okay. 10. So two major factors, two major pieces of information here with ADHD. Okay. There are mental and psychological issues that are involved in this. The inability to focus can involve, um, how shall we say it? The kid is the kid is not sitting still because there's some sort of something, some kind of angst going on. So the kid is not able to sit. You know what I'm saying? Something psychological yes, is bugging him. Okay, so I'm not going to go into that, but that is something that needs to be addressed. The second, the second issue is diet and nutrition. Okay, from okay. a nutritional standpoint and dietary standpoint, you want to keep the body, the, the chemistry stable, and this involves keeping the blood sugar stable. ADHD is when the body is the body 
the, the chemistry is not stable. It's going up and down and up and down. And the most likely suspect is going to be sugar. And mm -hmm. also nutrients that help the body process sugar. Both of those. So what you want to do first and foremost is you want the kids to reduce his intake of sweets. Bread, pasta counts as a sweet, believe it or not. Um, milk can count as a sweet because it's got a lot of sugar in it. So when I say sweets, we tend to think, you know, candy bars, and yes, that's a problem, but also pasta and bread and potatoes and cereal and bagels and pizza and, you know, obviously the kid, everything the kid loves, right? But try to wean them into more protein. Kids, you don't have to worry about too much. You don't have to worry as much with the protein thing. With older people, you've got to worry about too much protein because that can get turned into sugar. But because kids are building, they're really utilizing protein. So get him more okay. into the protein side of things, using more protein. Uh, start his meals off with protein. And also start his meals off with vegetables. Have him filling up with vegetables. If you need to vegetable. spike, yeah. Okay. If you need to spike the vegetable, if he, if you need a trick for the veg, for having him eat more vegetables, warm them up or steam them very slightly, and put butter and salt on them. Both of which butter and salt butter will also help. And salt. Yeah, okay. and the butter and salt will also help the ADHD. So veggies, butter and salt. More pro, more veggies, butter and salt. More protein, and then wean them away from the milk and the other sweets and the desserts and the breads and the pastas, all those kinds of foods. Then get him on nutrients that help both his brain and his sugar. It turns out they okay. go together. It turns out the same mm -hmm. nutrients that help the brain help the sugar. You should be on the Healthy Start Pack. You should be sipping on the BTT. But also you want to give BTT. him a little extra BTT. How much does he weigh? He's 65 pounds. He's on the okay. slim side. Okay. Does he have a doctor, naturopath you're seeing? Find a naturopath and tell the naturopath. And you got a pen? You're going to write things down? I uh, am I, writing Okay. I'm going to go quick because I, I got a commercial coming up. So I'm going to go quick. You want to okay. ask the doctor about zinc or the naturopath, zinc mm -hmm. picolinate? You want him mm -hmm. on, ask, ask the naturopath about thiamine, vitamin B1, and the entire B complex. You never want to take just one B vitamin. You want the whole B complex. Magnesium, mm -hmm. magnesium, and then also uh, essential fatty acids. Although, you know what? I would get him on the ultimate EFA. Have him take three ultimate EFA a day. And maybe uh, throw okay. in a little bit extra fish oil. Throw him a little extra fish oil. You should notice a difference almost okay. right away. Within a week, certainly, you should start to notice improvement. All right, Hostess Cena, I'm going to okay. let you go. I hope I helped you out. Okay. Thank, thank you so thank much. You. Have, have a beautiful day. Okay, bye-bye. All right, we'll take a commercial break and come back with more of your phone calls at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, or if you have a health challenge you or a loved one may need help dealing with, we are here for you, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have a success story and you're out there, I want to hear from you too. Love success stories, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010. Let's go to Dorium, who's been holding on for... Quite a while here. Let's go to Virginia and say hi to Dorian. Good morning, Dorian. Hi. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are How are you? Nice to hear from you. What, what kind of name is Dorian? I love that. Is that a uh, is well? That a, it's one given to me. I given didn't to you. have any control of that, really. Okay. It's very beautiful. <laughs> What's going on okay. today? Okay. I have a few problems that I'm dealing with, okay. including type one diabetes. Yes. Some um, glaucoma. Yes, they're related, and, of course. Yeah, and um, what is the next one? Um, even forgetting now. Okay, forgetting probably. Many memory <laughs> issues. No? Okay. I'm just kidding. Um, Here's the deal. Here's the deal, Dorian. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Diseases. This is how breakdowns in the body occur. They don't happen just one. You don't have just mm -hmm. one. They're like potato chips. You don't get just one. They all come in a con. They all come like a in a complex, call it a mm -hmm. constellation of symptoms. So it's not unusual. Diabetes and glaucoma. You probably have weight issues, blood pressure issues, kidney issues. They all come together, and mm -hmm. so you can go to a kidney specialist and a blood pressure specialist and take a kidney drug and a blood pressure drug and a glaucoma drug and a type one diabetic drug and a digestive drug. Blah 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 blah. But those are the leaves on the tree. The root is the same. It's a triangle. It's simple. So here's what you're going to do. First of all. Type 1 is a slightly different than type 2 in terms of its cause, but it's still going to mess up your blood sugar, and that's the problem. The cause, however, is a little different. Uh, in autoimmunity, you usually have a digestive component. Of course, you usually have a digestive component in everything, so uh, there really is no difference. 
functionally anyway. Practically, there's no difference. You work on the digestive system. That's always first. So you got it. You sound like you're in your 60s, correct, Dorian? No, older. I'm actually much younger. You are? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm so embarrassed. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Don't worry <laughs> okay. about it. Okay. Uh, so how old? <laughs> how, how old? Uh, 30s. No, you don't need to tell me, but just exactly. But in your 30s, okay? Yeah. Is that right? All right, good. Mm-hmm. So you're catching this. You're catching this early enough is the good news. But it, the bad news is that you should not have glaucoma in the age of, at the in your 30s. Okay, right. that should not be happening. That means you're breaking mm-hmm. down fast. So right away, you got to get to the bottom of your digestive health issues. You must have had them for for type one diabetes to occur at this age. I'm guessing you've had them for a while. It's probably yeah. since you were a kid. Okay. Yeah. So the first mm-hmm. thing. So you got to get to the bottom of that. That is not going to, you just think about it. If your body, digestive system is breaking down for 10, 20, 30 years, eventually stuff's going to start leaking through into the blood and you're not going to process your nutrients. So you're going to be functionally starving. So you're essentially, you're, malnour- you're, you're both malnourished and toxic and it starts at the level of the digestive system. Do a swear OV cleanse for two or three days. When you start eating again, do a food diary where you write down everything you eat. Most likely suspects you probably know because you sound like a smart lady and it's been going on for a while. So you probably know there are foods you, you shouldn't be eating, but you do. I'm not saying that in a bad, like a, a judgmental way. I'm just saying that this was, represents a point of, your, of power, a leverage point for your health. So then you're going to eliminate those foods. Grains and dairy are probably on the list. Peanuts probably too. But just see what, see what your problems are. Eliminate those foods. You're also going to want to do everything you could do for your digestive issue, uh, for your uh, digestive health. The uh, nightly essence, fermented foods. There's a great product called I. Uh, oh, geez, I forgot the name of it. I think it's uh, oh gosh, I26. I believe it's called I26 from Longevity, which is a. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's an a really neat. We're going to talk more about this in the coming days. It's a really neat um, uh, immune building supplement that you could take for the digestive system. Okay, I26 is called. You can find it off the Longevity site. Fucoid Z gelatin. Bone soup, everything we talk about for the digestive system. Secondly, you're going to keep the blood sugar stable. Uh, the digestive part will help with that. Reducing your sugar intake will help. And then get on the sweeties and the magnesium, uh, osteomag, and also the ultimate niacin, ultimate selenium, all of these in the interest of keeping your blood sugar stable. And then thirdly, you're going to, you got to do everything you got to do to relax the body, everything you could think of. Uh, the, the digestion and blood sugar strategies that we just talked about will do that. But also things like just, just relaxing, hot showers, hot baths, uh, breathing, deep, slow, deep breathing strategies. Uh, moving the lymph, which we're going to talk about next week, is also important. So exercise is extremely important. Inflammatory factors build up in the lymph as uh, our body is chronically attacked. And once this happens, it's very easy to become symptomatic because the lymph is supposed to drain toxins away. And when it becomes clogged, that doesn't happen. The lymph is, lymph is supposed to deliver vitamins and, when, and, and fatty, fatty nutrients and fats for energy. And when that doesn't happen, uh, the body symptoms can start to show up. And interestingly, and most importantly, maybe, the lymph is supposed to drain out toxic hormones, uh, especially toxic estrogen. And when... Uh, the lymph is clogged. That doesn't happen either. So exercising and getting on a rebounder and the deep breathing, all of these can help move your lymph. Uh, drinking more water and your Beyond Tangy Tangerine can also help you with your lymphatic system. There's lots of ways you can take care of your lymph. I like lymphatic massage. You can do your own lymphatic massage, by the way, by just simply pressing lightly on the surface of your skin, not too deep, but just kind of, kind of, kind of just, just, you can kind of feel your tissue sort of pressing in, and you go, always go towards your heart when you're doing lymphatic massage. Okay, Dorian, I hope I helped you out. I want to get to a few more calls. Thank you so much for your call. Thanks a million. All right, take care. Bye-bye. All right, uh, let's go to Mary in Oregon. Good morning, Mary. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, my friend uh, has dry eye. She recently got on keto, so is the keto going to help her? Yeah, it will definitely help her. Dry eye in many ways is a fat problem. She has to do her EFAs, though. Essential fatty acids are very important, but again... You got to look for other symptoms. Dry eyes are uh, leaves on a tree. You got to go back to the root, and that's going to be the triangle. She can't just have dry eyes. There's always other symptoms. Sometimes dry eyes can be associated with autoimmunity. Sometimes dry eyes can be associated with nutritional deficiency. Sometimes dry eyes can be so associated with fat malabsorption, which is very common as we get older, particularly as women get older, the problems absorbing fats. So uh, she may want to use uh, digestive strategies like bile salts especially if she notices she has digestive problems, which you should always be looking for. Bile salts, the ultimate enzymes, apple cider vinegar, probiotics, the nightly essence. These are all ways that you can improve fat absorption. 
Um, also, uh, using fatty nutrients in addition to the ultimate EFAs, vitamin A is very important for secretions. Dry eyes are a common sign of vitamin A deficiency, by the way, as anyone who, who's on Accutane will tell you. Dry eyes can happen when you start to poison the vitamin A system of the body. Vitamin A is a secretion vitamin. All your secretions, whether it's bile secretions or, or a sebum secretions or mucus secretions, they all depend, tears, they all depend on healthy vitamin A processing. If you're not getting enough vitamin A or you're not absorbing vitamin A or you're using up too much vitamin A, like you're eating a lot of sugar, that will, burn, that will make you burn through your vitamin A. All of these are more likely. All, all kinds of dry issues are more likely. So vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day I'd be using. Vitamin A works with zinc and vitamin D, so making sure she's getting out in the sun to get her vitamin D or eating fish to get her vitamin D and getting on 50 milligrams of zinc. Uh, zinc picolinate, I always like. That's my favorite form of zinc. Uh, and, then, uh, and then in addition to um, vitamin E and vitamin K and vitamin, vitamin E and vitamin K, the other two fatty vitamins, uh, those can be helpful also. Just all the fatty vitamins, EFAs, fat absorption, uh, and then maybe throw in a little bit of zinc, which works with vitamin A. All right, Mary, I want to get one more call in. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Hope we helped you out. Anything else you want to add? No, thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. All right, Robert in Colorado. Skinny Robert, I presume. You get the last oh, sure. word. What's up, Skinny Robert? How you doing? How's your wife, I'm first doing... of all? We only got 60 seconds. How's the wife? Uh, the wife is great. She, they found out it was a uh, UTI after okay. two months. Okay. Of that could be that. miserable. That could be miserable. Uh, yeah, right. But okay. just wasn't weird. It was weird, so... <laughs> All right. What's going on? Uh, let's see. You know, I lost 130 pounds. Wanted to save my blood pressure drop by 30 points. They go hand in hand. Sticks. Yeah, yeah. They but, go hand in. Yeah. Are you going to? Am I going to see you next Tuesday? By the way. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be up there and okay, uh, be at Doc's the next Wednesday too. So. Okay. Good deal. All right. So, so what's going? Did knees. you have a question? Oh, your knees. Yours? They're not. They're not coming back together. It's, they're it's, not, it's, huh? Oh, you got a yeah. couple of things. First of all, you, got new, yeah. you still got to lose a little more poundage. That's for right, sure. Right. Uh, congratulations. On on the 130 is amazing. Truly amazing. Right. A little few right. more. Thank you. Uh, and, and then you want to start regenerating that cartilage as best as you can. The glucogel right. caps, I'm sure you're doing that, right? Yep. 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 Throw, throw in some gelatin. Right. Throw in, throw in some liquid silica gel. Oh, throw okay. in, Throw in some extra vitamin C. I know you're getting it in the BTT, but I would take extra vitamin C. Okay. Throw in some zinc, 50 milligrams right. a day. Make sure uh -huh. you're doing bone broth all day, every day, right. as much okay. as you can, and bone broth protein as well. You might want to okay. get in. You might want to also add in a little extra of an amino acid called glycine, G L Y C I N E. Okay. And then also, I would throw in some uh, high aluronic acid, H Y A L U R O N I C, high aluronic acid, 100 uh -huh. to 200, even up to 300 milligrams a day. Uh, Got to move, okay. my friend. Right. I'll see you on Tuesday. Good I'll to see talk you Tuesday. To you. Looking forward to it, Ben. Same, Thank Robert. Bye-bye. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Check out our website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for all, all our truth treatments, truthtreatments.com. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now.